What's going on YouTube, GS right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12.x jailbreak, a new important vulnerability has been released. This video is brought to you by PDF Element 6, which allows you to edit, create and convert PDF files on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below and don't forget to check out their advent calendar where you can win prizes until the Christmas. So Ucurrent Software has posted just a few minutes ago, quote, it's been way long enough waiting for jailbreaks, so dropping XNU zero day here. Now a few things that have have to be explained in here because I've been asked quite a lot about what this is. So XNU is pretty much the kernel behind both macOS and iOS and of course this is very important because an XNU zero day pretty much means an XNU vulnerability which hasn't been disclosed before and it's not yet patched. A zero day in terms of security is pretty much a vulnerability that hasn't been patched yet and you're pretty much dropping it in the wild, you know, for the general public and therefore the company that is vulnerable to it, in this case Apple, has zero days left to fix it before it gets available to the public. So this is where the zero day name came from. And these are usually very important releases because this means that the vulnerability is available on the latest iOS version, which is iOS 12.1.2 at this point. So if you go ahead in here, you can see that there are two versions of 12.1.2 and of course one for 12.1.1. However, for these three versions in here, this vulnerability is still available, so Apple did not patch it yet. But what it is? Well, somebody asked below what this is and what type of exploit it is, and the Ucurrent software replies with heap overflow, same type as Electra's heap overflow in MPTCP, only different flow and file. So yeah, definitely a very interesting vulnerability and of course, since it's similar to the Electra heap overflow in MPTCP, it can be used for jailbreaking. However, this is where things get tricky. This is a vulnerability release and what he posted in here is pretty much a screenshot of the line of code in XNU which is pretty much vulnerable. So this is a vulnerability that has been dropped but not an exploit. So in order to use this on a jailbreak we need to make an exploit first on top of this vulnerability and there are only a few people in this world capable to build serious iOS jailbreak exploits you know for the kernel and of course probably most of these people are not interested in doing so for the moment. Anyways the vulnerability itself is actually pretty hefty and since it's a heap overflow it's definitely a powerful one. However as I said don't get hyped for the moment because it still needs an exploit to be released before anything can do with it. However, as I said, the vulnerability is still a very, very good release. So yeah, I've been asked quite a lot what this is and what it can do. This is what it is. It's a vulnerability. It's very powerful and it hasn't been patched yet by Apple. So if a security researcher decides to exploit this vulnerability in here and release an exploit, that exploit will probably work for the latest iOS version at this moment, thus giving us an exploit that is compatible with the latest version and lower. So yeah, as I said, very powerful, however we still need an exploit for that, so don't get very excited for the moment since unless we get an exploit for this vulnerability, it cannot be used as it is on a jailbreak. However, if we do get one, definitely, it's definitely going to be useful. Anyways, this is pretty much it guys, do not update to 12.1.2 or to 12.1.1. If you're running iOS 12.1, stay there, if you're running 12.0.1, again, stay there. Do not update from any of the versions in here that are no longer signed to any of these in here that are signed, because these versions in here are pretty much the worst you can be on in terms of jailbreaking. Anyways, that's pretty much it guys, I really hope I cleared out the confusion about that vulnerability, because a lot of people ask me whether that can be used in a jailbreak or not and of course what it is so that's what it is this is the video thank you for watching i'm geosnow until the next time peace out